Good morning and happy Sunday. Thank you for coming back for another plan with me. This time we're going to be doing the week of the 6th through the 12th. Um, not a whole lot going on, but we're also going to be talking about TikTok on fire. If you don't know what I'm talking about, stay tuned and we'll get into it. So thank you for stopping by and I will see you on the other side. Hey guys and welcome back. So we're going to get started on the March uh, plan with me. Um, so we are going to be doing the weekly spread. Um, and if you know me, you know that I would like to, I kind of like to start. Sometimes I like to use that. A lot of times I like to build my own. And so that is what I'm going to be doing today. So, okay. So, you know, I usually like to start out with a blank canvas. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the pictures. I am using the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus along with the Pimly app and the S Pen. I keep debating on upgrading to the S Pen Pro. Um, I just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. Um, so there is that. If there's anybody that uses the Samsung Pro, uh, S Pen Pro, let me know. And I know that they are coming out with the uh, S8 and the S8 Plus. Um, if you're thinking about getting it, let me know. I would love to get some feedback on it. Like, I just got this like a year ago, so I'm still kind of learning everything that it will do because I mean, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good workhorse, I will say that. Um, I'm gonna crop that in a little bit. Okay, so there is my blank canvas, and um, I kind of want to go with some butterflies this week so I'm gonna be doing like uh, kind of like a muted palette and then put on some colorful butterflies in there so uh, you shall see also I am using my Logitech K480 wireless keyboard um, so I will be utilizing that as well uh, for the typing that I do. Um, so let's get into it. And then we're going to talk about how TikTok is on fire this week. So <laughs> if you are not on TikTok, um, you have missed the dumpster fire. Um, that is Modern Warrior and it's me, Chelsea Hart. Um, so kind of giving you a recap and not really taking sides on either way because you just really don't know who to believe and who not to believe um let's start there so apparently um chelsea and lance or chelsea and modern warrior which is his name on tiktok between the two of them, let me start by saying that. Between the two of them, they have roughly about four, a little over four million followers. And um, they apparently started seeing each other. And in the process of them seeing each other, um, they, you know, the unbeknownst, I guess, anybody, because nobody knew about it. <laughs> Um, until all of this hit the fan and I mean, it was so damning that it was just like, oh, 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 okay. Um, so unbeknownst to pretty much everybody, um, Chelsea and Lance had been seeing each other and in the process of them seeing each other, um, she uh, flew herself out uh, to go see him, to spend time with him. And um, I guess some things transpired, some adult things transpired. And uh, they had a good time and everything. And then she got, uh, she went back and I guess saw that he was canoodling
well, that's weird. Anyway, so they was canoodling. Um, he was canoodling with someone else, like, weeks later. And she kind of lost it. Um, and most people, honestly, would have, like, ran to Publix and got a chocolate ganache cake and just buried their feelings that way. Chelsea decided to take it a little bit further and uh, take it to TikTok to her one point big six million followers and proceed to drag this man through the wretched bowels of hell, if you would. Um... So in the process, and if you're, let me pause right there. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am setting my days of the week up because of how I did this. I kind of just want to do it this way. You know, I'm sure that there's probably an easier way, but why not to be difficult? If you at least can be at some point in time. Um... <laughs> So anyway, so she proceeded to drag him through the wretched bowels of hell. Um, again, most people would have just been like, charge it to the game. I got played. Um, I mean, I have, you know, I, I, I don't think there's anybody on this earth that has not been played in a romantic relationship. Um, and you... Just say, okay, well, charge it to the game. Um, and then you go on about your way, right? Right? Or is it just me? Anyway. So my good sis proceeds to utilize this moment to go for the the gusto like she was hellbent she was gonna take him out just all the way out and I was like oh that's what we're doing okay and again this isn't me taking sides this is me just kind of saying oh that's unfortunate so she um went on there and proceeded to tell anybody and everybody that will listen, all of her followers, and how she, how he abused her mentally, like he knew that she had been going through some things and she was upset and, you know, and she thought that they were monogamous Apparently they were not monogamous. Hopefully you don't hear my dogs running around. Uh, she thought that they were monogamous and apparently they wasn't monogamous because shortly after she left and went back home, um, he was on um, in a TikTok with another woman uh, canoodling with her and she is... Basically, she got embarrassed, is what she thought. Please excuse my dogs. Um, Maisie just came out and decided, I guess she wanted to, you know, hop after Churro. Anyway, so she decided that she was going to... Oh, no. Let's undo that. (laughs) Sorry about that. Um, so she decided that she was going to basically go for his trot in every sense of the way. Um, and like I said, I feel bad for her. Honest and truly, I do. Because, God, that's horrible. But I feel also feel like some of that should have been played out in the privacy of her own homes and not 
out in public because that's ultimately what happened is um, another famous TikToker, her name is Aunt Karen. Aunt Karen has, let me see, how many followers Aunt Karen has? Okay, yeah. Um, Aunt Karen has 1.6 million followers. Um, <clears throat> and she immediately jumped on it. Uh, Chelsea came out and said that Modern Warrior had sexually assaulted her. And without any... Just basically... Her word... Uh, Aunt Karen jumped, in, jumped on the bandwagon and was like... Um, you know like jumped on that bandwagon and was like yep you did it you know and then it comes out oh god it was actually consensual and what happened was is they were talking about apparently he asked her if she was into polyamory and she was like no and he said well okay well I kind of am um and then that was that so basically he talked his talk GTD she found out that he was actually talking to somebody else and all hell broke loose. Um, and again, I hate it for her because, you know, everybody has played that fool at some point in time. Um, I just hate that it played out the way that it played out and then like the ramifications. And I think Lance came out and this is what Lance said. Lance came out and released one statement, one video on all of it. And then he just kind of faded back into the ether. Lance came out and said, I am sorry that all of this has happened. I'm sorry, uh, basically, that you feel like this has been a miscommunication. You know, that all of this has been a miscommunication. And when I tell you, That by itself apparently sent her over the edge. It sent her over the edge. Because my good sis went in. She was like, I could be pregnant with your child. Oh. Whoa, wait a minute. How did we get here? (laughs) Um, you have to excuse me, I'm flipping some stuff around. Um, I mean, but my good sis was like, I'm dropping the ball. Bow. And then that was it. And everybody was like, whoa. And then he never jumped out. So apparently another woman that he had been talking to stepped up and was like, you know, I too kind of got wrapped up in this whole kerfuffle because I was talking to, I thought I was talking to Lance and Apparently, Lance is talking to other people, and I didn't know. But to be honest, she kind of looked like the other woman. Like, excuse me, my dog like got something under the um, couch, so now I'm trying to get it out. Anyway, so she kind of looked like the other woman, and I was like, so you have a preference for her? Um, 
so um what was I saying oh yeah so I was like oh okay well modern warrior has a preference um and which is fine because I think we all do uh it was just very interesting it was very interesting So anyway, so yeah, so I left off at her dropping that bomb and then the woman came up and was like, you know, hey, I kind of got caught up in these shenanigans and, you know, I thought that it was X, Y, and Z, but apparently it wasn't. She looks just kind of, she looks a lot like Chelsea. And then, um, she just kind of wanted to step forward. Like, Hey, listen, don't let him distract you from, you know, and then it became, uh, a big old, huge pity party. Like Chelsea was kind of milking it. Like she ring lights, you know, tears, the whole kick caboodle. Um, and then this other woman who had initially stepped forward was like, um, I didn't sign up for all of this. And she was like, I I didn't sign up for all of this. So I am going to go ahead and shine a whole different light on this. So apparently the light that she was shining on is that, um, Um, (laughs) um, so anyway, so it was just, it was a whole Michigas of stuff. So, again, not only did uh, the other woman come back and like, hey, uh, she's been calling me a lot. So now she's coming forward saying that Chelsea is calling her a lot. Um, That Chelsea is calling her a lot. This isn't really what she signed up for. Um, This has been too much. Um, You know, it it's very calculated and um so on and so forth and then aunt karen who has um 1.6 million followers modern warrior has like 2.8 chelsea has like 1.6 or 8 or something like that and then aunt karen who did all of this stuff is now of course out on the apology tour like you know, I'm sorry I got caught up in this. I really should have minded my business. I didn't have all the facts. And Chelsea manipulated me. Now, I have seen on Karen. Now, this is where I will. Now, this is where I will say that I do find fault. I have seen on Karen go against some pretty crazy situations. I don't like that zero. Some pretty crazy situations. Um, white supremacists, um, the police, you name it. Okay, so clearly I... Okay. Um, <laughs> none. That's right. Um, I've seen her go against some pretty, you know 
and, and she she does a great job. So that's not that's not to take away anything that she that she does. Um, and I've seen her, like I said, I've seen her go against. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go to the grocery store today, and usually I would have been out. Um, I would have already been out by now, but I'm being kind of lazy today. Um, Anyway, so like I said, I've seen Aunt Karen go against some pretty hardcore people and she's very well versed. So for her to come back and say, oh, I was manipulated seems a little aloof. Like you're, you're now trying to like break yourself apart from that and flop the blame back over to Chelsea. But you also posted a video calling Modern Warrior or Lance a sexual fender with his picture and then with the caption of I stand with Chelsea um so you have now turned around and put yourself in a legal situation where um you easily like could be sued um You know, you easily could be sued. Um, and then what? I, I just, I, I don't, like, I feel like this app, that app is one thing. And sure, I post stuff, but um, I'm not going to put myself in jeopardy, jeopardy like that because that's crazy. Do I not have anything Wednesday? Okay. I don't have anything. Anyway, so, um, you know, I would never put myself in jeopardy like that. And she has just really put herself in jeopardy and really kind of like, you know, and then, like I said, to come back and like, oh, well, um, Chelsea used me and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, but how? Um, so it's kind of crazy how all of this is kind of spun so hard out of control, like just, just an an egregious amount of spinning, if you would, just egregious amount of spinning. Because that's what's happened. Like, it has spun so far out of control. Make that a little bit smaller so you can kind of perch on that W. Um, and instead of everybody just stepping back, and I think the last I heard, I think Chelsea and Modern Warrior have both agreed to kind of just like step back away from the app for a minute to kind of gather themselves. Well, Modern Warrior was already doing it because he was just like, mm-mm, I'm going to let her come unhinged on here and let everybody make up their mind because I'm not even going to get involved in that. And that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> that's pretty much what happened. It's not funny, but she definitely came unhinged quite a bit. Um, and I think that was kind of the method to his madness was I'm going to step back and let her become unhinged and, you know, kind of show herself. I I don't have to say anything like, you know, they had only been talking for six months 
and she, you know, I guess took that as, um, you know, I guess she took that as, like, we're in a long-term committed relationship, but from the text messages, apparently he had, he had asked about, um, polyamory, which let you know, we did get a new term out of this. So in case you don't know, the new term is informed consent. So informed consent now is basically full disclosure. Um, but people are just utilizing the term, um, informed consent. So in his case, what he should have done was said, Hey, Chels, I like you. I like to, and we're, and that's not to say that we don't know if that actually happened. Okay. Hey, Chels, I like you. I like you a lot, but I also like Susan over here. And if Susan wants to talk to me, I, you know, I'm going to talk to her too. Also, if uh, Barbara wants to talk to me, I also am going to talk to her. And if at any point in time the sex happens, well, you know, the sex happens and this is uh, what I want. Um... So that is now informed consent. So you just basically have to fully disclose. But I thought that was normal anyway. But again, most of us would have just said, you know, I got played. Let me charge it to the game and move on and not made like a big old Broadway musical out of it, which is what I feel like has transpired. And it is just like everybody is chiming in with some commentary about it. Like, oh, well, you know. So, it's pretty, I'm not even going to say it's pretty interesting, because it's actually kind of scary and sad how all of this has transpired, and, you know, like, it was literally watching someone become unhinged, um, on almost in real time like it was three or four posts a day and watching her come unhinged and uh instagram like screenshots of conversation like it was literally watching someone become unhinged in which i say to her sis get help because you definitely need to go sit and talk to someone um therapist spiritual advisor someone because she's gonna need it because this did not transform or fold out you know come out the way that she thought it was gonna come out it really came out more along the lines of you are really crying wolf and this was not what you thought like you threw out the word sexual assault it wasn't sexual assault it was you all had consenting unprotected sex and then you know you found out that he was canoodling with somebody else and your feelings was hurt is ultimately what it boils down to your feelings was hurt I can understand that like I said we've all been in that situation so you know um I feel bad for her I do I feel bad for her I feel bad for everybody involved because all of this could have been done on the side and it probably would not have gained the traction. There was another young woman that was of the, uh, that is an indigenous American that Chelsea's followers was like, she must be the one because I guess they were in like a, a duet video or something like that together. And it just, they just started bullying her to the point to where she was just like, this is ridiculous. She's on there crying and, and everything else like that. And, you know, and it was like, And then to the point where Chelsea had to say, hey, don't bully her, but to support her, go follow her. But these were the same people that was just bullying her. It was, it was, it was a whole hot mess. Uh, so yes. So 
Um, I think as things start to quell over the next couple of days, something else will rise up because it always does. Um, you know, it just seems like there's, I hate to even use the term factions, but there's like factions and houses on TikTok and you're just like, oh, well, okay. Anyway, so I've hit the 30 minute mark and I've told you all about it. There's so much more to it. Um, but I just kind of wanted to do this plan with me with you. So there is that. Um, this is what the final look looks like. As you can see, I did do some uh, butterflies all over the place. The quote that I use is, I'm no longer who I was. I'm not yet who I'm becoming. And as you can see, there's like a, a butterfly in a, cocoon, in a cocoon and almost in the chrysalis stage. And then there's butterflies all over the page. My goal this week is to get five sales on Etsy. Um, so that is kind of my week at a glance. I've got some other things going on. I actually use my planner. Like I use it a lot. Um, it's a lot easier for me to kind of keep up with my thoughts and things like that. Because, you know, I like to be able to like brain dump and drop, uh, drop stuff down, keep up with Etsy sales. So everything is like right here. And I take my planner with me everywhere. So this is pretty much my go-to. And usually you'll see me with that and my keyboard um, and everything. I know that they're working on being able to sync Penly apps together, but I don't think that they finished that yet. But when they do, it's this is going to be like a powerhouse of an app. So anyway, it already is. Don't let me take that away from them, but it already is. But there's that. Uh, let me know what you think about the whole TikTok is on fire uh, commentary between Chelsea and Lance. Um, and yeah, that's that. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the other side. So thank you for coming to me, coming and doing my plan with me. Uh, hopefully you got like a little bit of tea, not too terribly much, but um, it's interesting. Um, I didn't think I was going to get that wrapped up into it, but I did. So again, thank you so much for um, stopping by and doing this weekly plan with me and uh, hearing about all the TikTok drama and listening to my dog crunching on a bottle. Sorry about that. They're dogs. Anyway, um, thanks again for stopping by. Uh, see you next week. Also, um, join me on TikTok because I do post like screen recordings there throughout the week. Um, so join me there and then on Instagram and everything. And I'll have all of that linked down in the description. Thanks.